Hi, my name is Britt, and I am the creator of the Velvet Art. Where am I looking? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll look at you. My name is Britt, and I am the creator of the Velvet Arsenal. I'm from Windsor, Ontario, born and raised. Um, and since uh, I graduated from university, I've traveled all over the world. And now I'm back home and making this whole thing happen. So the Velvet Arsenal was born out of my love for fashion and the environment. And um, those two things seemed so mutually exclusive to me for so long. Like, how can you make this work? The fashion industry is so destructive for the environment. And I don't know, I figured out a way. <laughs> So um, what I do is I thrift everything, usually in big batches, and then I bring it home and I let the pieces speak to me and they become little one-of-a-kind creations um, that are cherishable, that have a story, and I just really think that fashion should be fun and it shouldn't be serious and it doesn't need to be perfect. And the Velvet Arsenal is about being yourself. Your style is your weaponry. This, your, your, the way you put your clothes on, the way you do yourself up is a message that you send the world. You know, so let's make that fun. Let's make it say something and let's get loud. The Velvet Arsenal was born in Costa Rica in 2018. Um, I was working at the time uh, at a, a brewery and the, the owner, awesome lady, she asked me, do you want to run a workshop? And I thought, okay, I can do a workshop. What am I good at? <laughs> Start thinking, what am I good at? What do I do? <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, I'll do a t-shirt cutting workshop. I'll show people how to cut some fringe and just customize their clothes for themselves. And sooner than I knew, realized what happened, I had a pop-up. I had cut all these pieces, they all look great together, and I was like, whoa, I have a pop-up. Like, crazy, this is cool. And from there, um, I started, you know, kind of collecting artis women, arti artisans, women? Artisanal women. <laughs> uh, women artisans, women who make shit. <laughs> I started collecting them, putting them together, and we had a market collective. And so we'd come together once a week or once a month in different locations in Costa Rica, in Paco, my town there, much love. And uh, yeah, we would, we would sell things and then I brought it home and I thought, is this gonna work in Canada? I don't know. <laughs> it is, it's working, it's cool. <laughs> and here we are two years later. Oh, in the future. That's actually a real challenging thing because I put so much love and so much attention into, you know, doing everything myself and it's like how do I see myself growing in a way that makes sense that stays true to my brand and it stays true to myself right and so um, I think just finding people who are willing to create with me who I can show how I do things to and then kind of expanding a team you know growing in a very natural very organic way not just trying to be like okay we need to sell 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 but like watching how the universe is sending people to me I have an awesome I have Sav now, she's my sewer, she's on my team, and we're gonna grow in a natural way that progresses, um, that's right for the brand and not just, you know, to make money. So, the message behind Velvet Arsenal is, really it's a lot about being yourself and about loving yourself. Um, the Free the Nipple shirts are um, a big message of that, you know, um, just about loving our body. We've been handed this set of beauty standards as women, just saying, this is what you should look like, this is, <laughs> Uh, put this makeup on, wear this stupid bra, that fucking bra that just like <laughs> doesn't fit anybody's boobs. You take it off, you look at your boobs and you're like, what's wrong with my boobs? There's nothing wrong. What's wrong with that stupid bra? Man made that shit. <laughs> so it's about loving yourself and, and I don't know, seeing the beauty in things that maybe other people overlook and maybe that's about seeing the beauty in yourself in a way that you overlook, you know? It actually, it, it wasn't like the logo originally, but I made this shirt, the first patch that I ever made, we made in Costa Rica for my buddy Sabe. Hey Sabe. <laughs> he, he, and I, I put it on a shirt for him, and I was like, that's sick. I think that's gonna be the logo. And so then I got a handmade stamp made, my friend in Costa Rica also made that, and so I started doing the, the stamp on the, you can see like, got it here, you know, I kind of, so, and it's just, I like it. <laughs> You don't have to spend a lot of money to dress cool. You don't have to um, wear brand names. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can make your style 
your own individual thing and your expression to the world. One of my favorite hashtags is just express yourself. It used to be on my card and it's like, let your fashion be an expression of who you are instead of like a subscription to the way that other people are telling you how to dress and that way that brands are, you know, trying to sell to you. Like, that's cool. I love me my Nikes, but like, you know, it's not all about that. It's about your expression, you know? Um, kapow! <laughs> we here, bitch! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I will never tell you that. <laughs> that is top secret information. <laughs> no, I just, yeah. <laughs>